Welcome to another unit in this SQL course. This time I'm going to talk about how I can generate new columns in an output in a uh, via a query and autofill this. What do I mean by this? Well, I have here a query which takes from the employee table the first name and the last name of my employees and lists this in a table, in a new table like this. Well, all of these people are listed employees. They are not suppliers. So if I just want to prepare a list of people I will need to send Christmas cards to, I might want to mark this especially, okay, those guys, they work for my company, they get a different type of card than those suppliers. So I might want to add a new column here, which I could call type. And if I want to add this, well, I could just go continue up here with the select. Well, I'm just getting rid of the distinct at this point. Can add a new column here. And on the one hand, I have to tell him what is the name of this column. And I have to tell him what should the entry in this column be. So at this point, they're all employees, so I simply want to have them all have an E there as a mark for those are employees. If I put this simply here, I will get a column with only E's, but with no distinct names. So I could just add a name for the column here as well. I do this in a way we already know this with S, and then I type in the name for the column. As I said, for example, type. I could save this, click on run, and we see here, he auto fills the whole column with the E I just entered. So we do not have the E anywhere in an original table. He generates this from scratch with the information I give him for the autofill. Autofill means all the entries get the same entry in this point. What we couldn't easily do is, for example, have a running number, an ID, as with the employees. Here it starts with one, two, three, four, and so forth. Whenever I make a new entry, I get a new ID here. Something like this would be a bit more complicated to realize than simply putting something up here. But if you want to use this, for example, to differentiate employees from suppliers, that's an easy way to go about. Well, this already concludes the short session. So I hope you enjoyed it. I say goodbye and see you next time.